What's up YouTubers? Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your fridge and put a 3-in-1 relay starter in. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of these how-to household and automotive projects. Okay, so here is the part I'm talking about. This is a 3-in-1 relay starter for your fridge. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description down there to an Amazon link for this where I got it. Okay, so your fridge probably completely stopped working or you hear it clicking on in two to five minute intervals for just a few seconds. And that's probably the sign that the start relay is bad. So what we're gonna do is first go ahead and unplug our fridge. Okay, now some fridges will have this back panel, so we'll go ahead and unscrew and take this panel off. It's just a few quarter inch screws and it comes right off. Now it's always a good time to go ahead and clean your coils while you're back here. I've got a video on how to do that too. Okay, so here on the left is our compressor and here further to the left is our start relay right here and the capacitor on the end of it. And to take it out, sometimes there's this little safety clip up here. I'll just go ahead and remove that. Then I'll go ahead and pull this whole relay off. And it just pulls like that and then there's a couple connections over here we'll unsnap these okay so here is our start ray this silver one and here's the capacitor and the capacitor just unsnaps like this from the start relay and you can actually get a replacement start relay if you look right here the part number you can get the exact relay but this is going to probably cost you around 40 to 60 dollars it's more expensive and not as readily available as the 3-in-1. This is more like a universal part you'll be able to pick up or get online for a lot better deal than the, the exact one. We're going to keep our capacitor and there's actually a little diagram that comes with the new one if you look right. We'll unravel our cords right here. So there's going to be a white one, red one, and a black one on one side and two black ones on the other side. We'll go ahead and focus on these three right here. The red one and the white one have a couple little connectors right here that we're going to plug into our capacitor leads right here, the male ends. So we'll just go ahead and plug these into the female ends on the red and white one. It doesn't matter which one goes to which lead. So these are kind of daisy chained wires, you'll see. So then it's got two more leads and the black one. These are going to go to our compressor. There is three prongs on the compressor. So the black one is going to go on to the bottom one that is by itself. That is the ground. Just slips on. This red one is going to go to the one on the left towards the back. And the white one is going to go on the one closest to us. Just push all those on there. And these two remaining black wires are going to go into the two wires we unplugged from our start relay, our original ones. And we're going to be connecting these with uh, these wire nuts that came with it. So we'll just go ahead and snip the original wires. And we're going to strip them back a little so we have some copper wire. So we'll take one black wire and the red wire. You're just going to twist the two wires together clockwise and then we will spin the wire nut on clockwise until it's nice and tight. And then we will do the same thing with the other one, the other black wire. Twist them together and put our wire nut on. And that is it. Now we can plug our fridge in and test it. Alright, sounds like it is working. Alright, great. Now we know the fridge is working again, so we can go ahead and unplug it again. And now we are going to put the relay and capacitor in, and you can go ahead and use a zip tie uh, just to tie it to something on the side so it doesn't get, you know, jostled around. But you want to make sure your fridge is unplugged so you don't get electrocuted when you're fiddling with these wires. Then you put your cover on, and you guys are done. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, check out my other videos, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching Johnny DIY, hopefully this helped you guys out. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Stay cool.